Hello, everyone. Good morning. There. Okay. I'll wait just a minute for folks to hop on. And good morning. We're going to make a pretty sympathy card today with gold. Good morning, Patty. Hello, everyone. And then I have a little paper pumpkin announcement, so I wanna make sure that people are on here. Good morning, Kelly. Hi, Judith. Hello, everyone. Yeah, a little paper pumpkin announcement. So um, let's give people time to hop on. It's very important that you look at your paper pumpkin reports if you haven't gotten your kit already. Um, hi, Linda. So, um, I had a message from a paper pumpkin customer, um, and I have a list of paper pumpkin customers. Um, oh, I know. It's absolutely so stinking cute. This is so cute, okay? Good morning, Mary. But, um, my, you know, and my paper pumpkin customers even get my free card kits. Okay, so this uh, customer had been with me for a couple of years. Good morning, Lynn. So if you do not have your, if you know that you subscribed and you do not have your most adorable paper pumpkin kit for this month, okay, because we made the wheelbarrow out of the box, um, uh, please call paper pump or call Stampin' Up. There has been a glitch in the system. I had two people, this one that called me, and if she didn't call me or, or text me, if she didn't get a hold of me, um, I would have never known. And then when I looked at my reports, my paper pumpkin report says active, but then on my order history, it said, oh, I'm so glad yours came yesterday, Peggy. That's great. But my order history said that they had canceled. Okay, so... I, when I saw canceled on the order history, I thought, well, okay, you know, they don't do uh, the Halloween one, okay? I never even put two and two together, you know, because I'd already sent out their card kits. I never really even put two and two together. So, good morning, Joan. Um, but, yes, so a glitch in, I called Stampin' Up right away, a glitch in the system, um, and they are going through and uh, trying to get everything worked out. Hi, Donna. Uh, so, if you do not have, if you know that you have subscribed and you do not have your absolute adorable paper pumpkin for this month, please call Stampin' Up! Because there was a glitch in the system and <clears throat> some people, it said on the, um, good morning, Robin. Hi, Beverly. Look at everybody's jumping on here. Thank you for sharing, Donna. I pre appreciate it. Hi, Joan. Hi, Glenda. Good morning. Um, yes, so with Paper Pumpkin, hi, Diana. There was a definite glitch in the system. My Paper Pumpkin report said that my uh, customers were active, but then my order history report said that they had canceled. And honest, I did not, I didn't even, I didn't even look at it, okay? So uh, I was lucky that a customer had contacted me and I called Stampin' Up! right away. And yes, there was a definite glitch and they are trying to work it out. So just um, be aware of that. Hi, Susan. So if you don't have it, what I'm saying is I think I would give them a buzz. And um, yeah, you know, try to make sure that everything is okay. It won't affect your billing. That's what they said. It would not affect your billing. It's just this month there was a little problem glitch in the system. Happens, right? Okay, so uh, n from now until the 23rd, so it's just today and tomorrow, if you order $50 in product from me, I will send you, good morning, Susan, I will send you the um, white uh, glittered organdy ribbon, and um, which is wonderful, and right now it's on back order, okay? So uh, I will order it, and I promise I will get this to you and your card kits, and then if you order from the 24th to the 30th, you will get a package of the brushed metallic adhesive back dots. All right, let's go ahead. Now, today is all about embossing. <clears throat> and I wanted to show you that in the new catalog how they have done the embossing. Okay, on page 128, these are your embossing powders. Thank you, Robin. Um, these are your embossing powders now. They come in a trio, basic and then metallics. 
And um, so you get three of them, like black, clear, and white are in the basics. And then the metallics, copper, gold, and silver. I right now have the metallics on my order because I think that copper is going to be just wonderful to emboss with. I have to admit, I used to be scared to death of embossing, okay? Just absolutely scared to death of it. But the more you do it, the better, I promise, the better you get at it. Just keep doing it. Um, hi, Cheryl. Okay, so uh, it, this is a, really a very simple card. Um, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I used some uh, just gold uh, foil for the inside, five by three and three quarter, and basic white. Four and three quarter by three and a half because the beauty of this card is all of the embossing. Everything is embossed. I even embossed my Stampin' Up! back here. <laughs> I embossed every bit of this envelope included, okay? And the, I use this absolutely gorgeous, I'm so lucky to have it, this gold metallic ribbon. Again, this is on unorderable status. Um, any of you that ordered my Blackberry Sweet uh, card class, the class is out it has been mailed, but your ribbon is not in it. I decide, I'm, I, I was like, they need to put their things together, at least have, you know, everything. I was lucky. I got the ephemera packs early. And um, those things are on back order until November. So um, you did get that in there. But we're just, I'm just waiting on the ribbon to come in. But that is so pretty. It's such a beautiful gold ribbon. I can see why it's sold out. It's beautiful gold ribbon. And it really has um, puffiness to it. It's really pretty. Um, so, and then on the outside here, the only thing I did was cut these out of our scallop contour dies. Thank you for mentioning the copper. I didn't think of that because I do have copper paper. I love copper paper, yes. And I think that the copper... Um, embossing uh powder will be fantastic that's one i don't have i have everything else i just i don't have copper so that and i think that this would look fantastic in copper you know look i love that it really came out pretty okay so let me move this aside and so this week i'm focusing on the delicate dahlias and then i am pairing with in your words because i'm focusing on everything with celebration because celebration is off at the end of this month it's done so, and I know that everybody has ordered, I mean, they have ordered like crazy um, through celebration. You can't even get the bedazzled anymore, that paper. They're just going to have to hold. Okay. <laughs> ah, so, oh, right before I uh, got on here, I mean, like five seconds, um, my daughter called and was like, can you run over to the house? I don't remember if I locked it. And I said, okay, after I do my live. And now stamp it up called. I, let me get on here live. And yeah, we'll have fun. Let's make a bow. <laughs> I, today's the first day of fall, right, Carol? Yes. And very useful in Southwestern art. Oh, let me see. What does um, Robin says the copper is very beautiful and very useful in Southwestern art. I love that. I know, Kelly, right? Let me let me do one thing. I can sit here for 10 days, okay, and not do a thing. But let me do one thing. And <laughs> cracks me up. So I wrap this around twice. And then, of course, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, getting out the door on the crutches and everything this morning, she forgot to lock the house. So, or maybe she did and just, like, forgot, did I do it, whatever. Sometimes I have to go over there and unplug a flat iron or the coffee pot, you know, or sometimes she remembers, but then she gets to work and she gets scared and she's like, oh, so <laughs> she calls me. Oh my gosh. So here we go with the bow. How pretty, right? You never f stop raising your children. You know, it doesn't matter how old they are. It... <laughs> That's fun. Oh, thank heavens for our moms. I know, right? Carol and I were having this discussion the other day. I was like, I'm going to move away. She's like, Joanne, no, you're not. Just <laughs> how funny. Look how pretty that bow is. That came out so pretty. All right, let me move that aside. Um, now let's work on the inside of the card, okay? And um, when because we're working with uh, the metallic, Okay, we're going to use seal because we definitely don't. Um, I know, right, Patty? It's so funny. Yeah, 
that, you know, yeah, I am what they have. Um, we're going to use seal because we're working on gold foil and uh, the um, Tombow, the liquid glue is not, not really good for that. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. And first what we want to do is use our embossing buddy. If you do not have, we don't sell these anymore. Joann's has them, Michael's, um, Hobby Lobby, Amazon. But if you don't have one, baby powder in a sock is great. So I'm just going to put this all over the place here. Hi, Jewel. Good morning. And um, what I want to do here is I want to use with this, I really want to use my Stamparatus. You can use it on a block, okay? But honest, I just feel better about the Stamparatus with this. Now, this first one um, is on red rubber, so we want to take our mat out. <clears throat> I don't have a Cricut. I just use this because it is sticky. And now I'm going to put my um, my paper right in there in the corner in that uh, 90 degree angle. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to make sure that I'm straight. Okay, just like that. Good. I think we're happy. Okay. Right here. We're going to pick that up. See how that stays down without the magnet? I found that, um, good morning, Sharon. I found that trick from, oh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Jennifer McGuire. And I just love it. Let me use a stamp set right there to, I always use a case underneath my uh, uh, Stamparatus lid so that I have a nice solid surface to press on, okay? So I'm going to take Versamark. This is clear sticky ink, and this is how that we emboss. Oh, let me go ahead and open my gold. I have my gold embossing powder here. Get my little spoon out of there. Um, everybody always asks me about my little holders. They are crayon holders. I've heard some people say that they have found them in... Um, the dollar store, Dollar Tree, uh, I got mine at Walmart, and the little spoons are just ice cream spoons. So I'm really pressing this and allowing that to kind of soak in. And I think I got, I'm looking, and I really did, I can see it. Um, I really got a good, I don't know if you guys can, but I really got a good stamp there with the Versamark, so I don't have to go over it. But that's why I use the Stamparatus, just in case I did. Okay, now, I want to bring in my embossing powder, and I'm, I just take my little spoon, and I just spoon it over here, and watch everything just come to life with that gold embossing powder. But I, I don't, I do not do it. Uh, you're right, Peggy, I do not do it enough. I love to emboss. Now, I'll say that. I have to admit, when I first started stamping, I it intimidated me, but I just kept going and going, and um, I watched a lot of videos and, you know, just little tips. Uh, I have a little paintbrush here to get away my, my little pieces that are sticking that I don't want on here. Very good. Okay, now... Let me go ahead and move this to the side. And let's go ahead and heat that up. Now I've got our heat tool here, our heat gun. I'll let that heat up on my hand just a second, okay? So every little step I'm going to complete and emboss. And here's the greatest thing. This is the most fantastic way to learn how to emboss and not be afraid of it. Just do a card and just like, keep embossing. Emboss everything. Use different colors. Take one sheet of paper. Do, like, uh, words. See how um, this is real scripty? And I've really got that embossing uh, powder on there nicely. And it's taking a look at that. How pretty. You want to make sure it all turns gold. Beautiful. Okay. You know, and just take a piece of paper and just do a bunch of things and just start um, embossing it and you'll, you'll get it. It's really, you will get it. Okay, let's go ahead and bring in a piece of scrap paper. You could see this one was probably from last year. And here's this. 
And let's bring in our stamp here. That's the outline, and I'm gonna bring in my big block. And I'm gonna take my Versamark, and again, I'm gonna just add a little bit more, just to be sure, okay? And now I'm going to go Versamark ink to stamp on this one. And we only have one shot at this, okay? So, whoops, let's get the, I can use the pad from underneath the Stamparatus right there, as long as we have a little cushion. Let me add a little bit more. I'd rather be safe than sorry. <clears throat> and you know, we all need, um, we all need these kinds of cards. We don't like to make them, but we do. Embossing powder, strang uh, stranglers are my worst enemies. I know, right? Uh, the sentiment is from the In Your Words, and it's at the back of the celebration catalog. It's the hostess one. It's in your words right here. It's that one. So, um, yeah. I'm going to try my paper punk and wheelbarrow today. Very good, Cheryl. You'll have fun. You will really seriously have fun. Now, see, the, um, the Versamark stays wet, you know, so that's why I don't panic. I used to. I used to be like, oh, hurry up. No, no, no. You're okay. You're really good. So I apply this just a couple of times to make sure that I get it evenly spaced. Need a little bit more there on the bottom. Or evenly covered, I should say. All, all the space is evenly covered. Okay. Let's go ahead and emboss or um, heat that up. Let's... <laughs> I don't want my mat to get hot. Pick that up. And you know, the gun's hot now, so uh, it takes it less time to melt. Because that's what you're actually... Are you, look at how nice that's showing up on camera, how that's melting. Isn't that fun? It's just really kind of fun to do and watch too, right? There we go. And you definitely don't want to heat it up too much. Because you can. You can actually heat it up too much. Okay, let's go ahead and apply this to, I know I've got it, our gold foil right there, just like this. And for this, I am going to use seal because um, the liquid glue is not the greatest for any kind of foil paper. Wow, that is sticky. So we're gonna go here. And now see where this paper kind of, um, it actually uh, warped just a little bit with the, um, with the heat. Um, I know, right, it's magic. Uh, when you put it on here with the seal, it straightens it right out. And now I'm even gonna seal this down just to keep everything nice and straight. I can feel the embossing, some of the embossing powder. And we'll add this to the inside of the card. Just like so. And again, the seal really straightens it out, okay? Because you know, when you add the heat, you can't help it. It just does what it does. Okay, let's work on the outside of the card. Ooh, I got a little... Let's see. If my little eraser... We don't carry this either anymore. You can get this at... It's a little rubber eraser for glues and such. It doesn't take off ink, though. Okay, now, again, the Stamparatus. Let's bring that in and let's go ahead and place that here, okay? I am going to put my magnet on it just in case because we're working with a larger stamp, whoops, and I need my cushion because we're going to uh, photopolymer. So we'll do that. 
need my little pad there. Okay, now let's, here it is, find that stamp. <laughs> I had to find the stamp. Let me clean it. I want to get all of the residue off of it from the um, burst mark, okay? So I just kind of want to make sure that it's all off of it, okay? So I cleaned it with my little chamois there and then stamped it, you know, on just some paper. And um, now we can put it right here. And that's exactly really where we need it. Beautiful. Okay, and then sending heartfelt sympathy. See, we could do this all in one, okay? Sending heartfelt sympathy right here. How pretty. And see, this is the point where you can mess with it and get it right. I'm going to take the paper pumpkin kit with me when I visit my family next month. Oh, they're going to love it, Peggy. Great. This is a great one to do with family for sure. For sure. Those little pumpkins are cute. Okay, now I'm going to pick everything up. Okay. Let me stick this all back down. That's okay because I know everything's going to still be in the same space because I'm in this corner. I was in that corner. I need another one of these. I've tried to wash it and get it more sticky, but I can't. And um, I've used the bejesus out of it. So I just need another one. So again, Versamark. And this time, I'm going to bring it over one time and stamp and I'm definitely going to bring it over a second because I'm really asking a lot of it. Now, if it picks it up, it's okay because I'm in this corner. We're good. Did good. Perfect, actually. Now, I want to stamp it again. I want to make sure that I have as much Versamark as I can get down on this to pick up my powder really nicely. Okay, now I want to make sure, hi Diana, I want to make sure that when I pick this up, I don't touch where the Versamark is, okay? Good. See, oh, I can see it really, really well. Can you see that? I don't know if on camera you can get like a little glimpse of it, but it's very, very pronounced. Okay, let's move this aside. And let's go ahead and place our embossing powder. So like what I've done this with this entire card, I've just stamped, oh my goodness, what a mess. Um, I, <laughs> did you see that? Ah! What a mess, you can't help it. But we, we have a remedy for that. It's a lint roller. And it happens to work very well but just has too many steps. I don't do it very often. Yes, I agree, Patty. I, t I totally agree. Embossing has, you know, you have to be like committed to what your, you know, the time that you're going to place on your project if you're going to do some embossing. That's for sure. Ooh, this came out a little messy, didn't it? Look at that. I don't like that. I'd have to swipe that off a little bit. Let's see. Okay, a lot of it came off. Yeah, we'll just take the paintbrush and let's see, right up here we don't have enough. There we go. Add where we need it and take it away from where we need it. But this is part of, you know, if you're going to emboss, this is all part of it. And, you know, just blowing on it, too. That's a technical part of it, too. <laughs> I'm going to take some of this off and probably reapply a little. You know, so it's all in the preparation. I just make sure that it's good. Oh, that is just smeared right there, isn't it? I must have put my finger in it, which is not good. Okay. Oh, that's about the best we're going to get it. Okay. Beautiful. Now I'm happy. Maybe a little bit more right there in the middle, right? <laughs> 
it's like, oh my goodness, just a little bit more. Okay, now let's go ahead and heat this up. And again, like this paper is, it's going to roll, you know, it just is. And you can hit it from the back to make it flatten out. But that's just part of it. Oh, here it goes. I love to watch it turn, right? Getting a little hot in that corner. You could always use a tweezer. And you can always color in, you know, after you've embossed. Look how pretty that is coming. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I always have, I have issues with embossing, for sure. For sure, okay. Now this is, I can't live with that because it's like right in the middle of my work station here. And the handy dandy lint roller. Picks it right up. I know, right, Diane? I know. I know it takes a little bit to do, but you're right. It um, it just makes it pretty. Look at that. That's pretty. Now, I did get more, like, um, little spots over there, but it is what it is. So, we're going to add the seal. Again, because the paper rolls up a little bit. And I'm going to add this to this part. This is just the um, gold foil that I cut out with the scallop contour. And it's going down right here with seal. It's a one of a kind card. This is true. Okay, right there. And turn it over, push it. <laughs> All right, there we go. And now it's down. Now, you know, I put the bow up here. I can bring the bow here if I wanted to on the side of the flower, just like that. We might just do that. That kind of looks great. Now, what happened over here? Wait a minute. If we're going to put a clothespin on the thin cutting board. Works nice. Oh, that's a good idea. Part of handmade effects. Yes, and embossing. Yes, that's true. But there, that would that I think that looks fine there, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do our envelope. This time we'll use um, the block. Because we're gonna go off of the envelope right here. More embossing, buddy. You know, and a lot of that, I think my finger might have might have touched it. Um, and then, too, I might have missed it with the embossing buddy. You know, so just a few little things, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and stamp this just like that. And we'll bring our... Instead of working on my work surface, I should just work on paper, right? This way, then I could just scooch it back in here. I definitely need more gold. Oh, it's so pretty. You know, I like to do the inside of my cards. I like to do the envelopes. But I felt with this card that embossing everything was the way to go. I just love to watch. There's just something about it. Once you start doing it and it starts changing color, it's just fun. Okay, let me put that aside. Let me bring my card base in here. I'm going to put my angel policy back here, even that way also. I always do an angel policy only because I um, do this for a business. 
and I really don't sell these cards. I, um, they usually are just given away. Sometimes I'll sell sympathy cards. Sometimes I'll get orders for that. I did have an order for 10 of them at one time. That was rough. Look at that. Even that, I even embossed that. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, now let's do the other side, the flap of the envelope. So yeah, you could just take a day. You know, and I'm just using the gold. There's so many other ways to emboss. Oops, I forgot the pad. Oh, oh, I have so many interruptions. Guess I'll, oh, watch the replay. Linda, I get interrupted all the time. My daughter called me not five minutes before um, the live went on. Not, I, it was actually like 30 seconds. I was like, um, I'm live in 30 seconds. What? She can't remember if she locked the house. So. <laughs> I don't know how everybody made it through life without me being retired, but it <laughs> cracks me up. Although, it's nice to be needed. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and do that. You know, this, this is for, this is a type of card for, a, you know, a bad special occasion. So, putting time into it it's not a bad thing. Look how pretty that envelope is. And seriously, guys, what did that take us? Three minutes at the most? So elegantly beautiful. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and add this to the front of our card right here, and we're gonna pop that up with dimensionals. I got a little bit of stuff right here too. There we go. We'll put about, now this I am going to put more dimensionals because of the gold foil, the heating, the embossing, the weight of it. So I will add extras here. Thank you for sharing, Mary. I appreciate it. Yeah, the, you know, okay, but this same card, if you did it in, if you said um, instead of the sympathy, if you put anniversary, you change it immediately, okay? You change it immediately if you put anniversary. Um, you could do it in silver and do a silver anniversary. You could in, do in, it in silver and do a wedding, um, this is, you know, I just used what was on the stamp set as far as the sayings, but it's a really pretty card for all of those events in life. Good deal. Isn't that pretty? Oh, let me get my... See, it just takes it right up. And what are these things? These are 97 cents at Walmart, right? Just takes it right up. Okay. <laughs> no residuals. I organized my craft room and found over 10 packs of dimensionals from paper pumpkin kits. Peggy, that is a find. Yes, this is beautiful for holiday also. It doesn't have to be for sympathy, you know, and using the um, the gold, I am going to place my bow right here to hide my little boo-boo, which, you know, you wouldn't say, oh, that bow's in the wrong place. It's cute right there on the flower, right there. Good. Let's place that with a glue dot right here. And we're just going to come right here. Look at our tails. That really looks cute. And puff that up a little bit. Adorable. Absolutely. Okay. Here are our beautiful cards for today. 
Don't be afraid to, I know, right? All so beautiful for a wedding or anniversary. Exactly. Just change the sentiment. That's all you have to do is change the sentiment. Um, the scallop contour dyes are beautiful. The dahlias are gorgeous. Um, it, it is it's a beautiful flower. Uh, the outline of it is absolutely stunning. Uh, so yes, definitely. You can change this up a little bit you know, just with the sentiment and have a completely different look. So here and here, <laughs> they both look great. I love them both. Thanks again for watching. Um, oh, thank you, Peggy. Um, you know, this does take a little bit of time to do because we're using the embossing, but it's really fun. So, um, you know, we're coming into fall. It's gonna start getting cold out. The leaves will start to change and then they'll fall. And um, the persimmons had spoons in them, so that means we're going to be shoveling a lot of snow. And so, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, you know, get into some embossing. Try it. Just even try it on some scrap paper. The way everything Matt got to love is stamping up. I know, right? It just matches. It's just beautiful. And this is a beautiful saying. Perhaps the stars are opening. Uh, Perhaps the stars are opening where our loved ones shine down to let us know they are happy. Isn't that beautiful? I know, right? Yes, I, yes, definitely. All right, guys, I'll see you Sunday at 7 p.m. And we will finish up with, let me show you that card, um, which is, a t you know, totally different, okay? We're going to... End up with this beautiful card. We're going to line this up. We're going to, there's some black embossing on there, and I'm going to teach you how to emboss over top of that ink. We're going to ink it first. And here is what um, Patty Weed inspired me from a card that she sent me to layer the inside of my card. And I thought that came out really cute. But Sunday, we're going to be uh, doing this one. I love the sentiment. Yes. I love the pink, Susan. Isn't that pretty? The pink and black. Isn't that fun? And then to see I used the black ribbon there. It's just, and I used every single, um, I used every single stamp in this entire set because my girls got, uh, for the stamping together, they got this one. They got my little retro flower there. I love my little retro flower. They, I did this one for them. And then uh, yesterday we did this one, and this is abstract. So I tried to use the flower, the, you know, all the flowers the best way that I could in every, you know, with every card. But yeah, we'll have fun with this pink one on Sunday. So I'll see you then. And that'll be at 7 p.m. And of course, there'll be a little giveaway. Thanks again for watching. Please have a safe and wonderful day. And thank you, Beverly. Thank you, Carol. Thanks, everyone. Too bad I'm working. Oh, uh, I'm an enabler. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. That's the best compliment I could have. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. How much fun do I have with you guys uh, on these days? I love my days with you guys. Okay. Oh, and my team. Uh, let's see. All the emails went out about the Zoom meeting for Friday with the PDF to cut your uh, pieces if you'd like to. If not, just hang out with us that evening and cut them as we go. So that's Friday night, this Friday at 7. I hope to see you then. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.